Today's video is about the No More Craptions campaign. What the heck is the No More Craptions campaign, Elijah? The No More Craptions campaign was started by Ricky Pointer, who is a very dear friend of mine and also happens to be deaf. She started this campaign as a way of making YouTube more accessible for those who are deaf or hard of hearing. Okay, but what are Craptions? Craptions is basically a term for captions that are done very poorly or just not at all. Well, are good captions really that important? I mean, there aren't that many people that are watching YouTube videos who are deaf or hard of hearing, right? You might actually be surprised to know just how many deaf or hard of hearing people there are in the world. In the US, there's like 38 to 48 million people that are deaf or hard of hearing, and roughly 642 million worldwide. So if only 10% of those people were watching YouTube videos, that's still 64.2 million people, and that's kind of a big deal. Even if you didn't count people who are deaf or hard of hearing, there are also people who have auditory processing disorders, and they need captions in order to make YouTube videos accessible to them. And another really big group of people that are affected by this are non-native English speakers. Many people who don't speak English as their native language use captions as a way of kind of aiding them in understanding what is happening in the conversation because sometimes it's easier to read English than to be able to hear it and understand what's happening. Okay, so there's a lot of people that are affected, but doesn't YouTube have auto-generated captions? Why can't they just use those? That is true, YouTube does have auto-generated captions, which are okay as long as the person speaking speaks clearly and there is decent audio. But at the end of the day, auto-generated captions are captions generated by a computer. And you know what else is generated by a computer? Siri. Which one is worse, Avada Kedavra, The Imperious Curse, or The Cruciatus Curse? Here's what I found on the web for which one is worse, Avatar Kedavra, The Imperious Curse, or The Christianus Curse. <laughs> it can get close, but unless you know what the original thing is, it's just not quite gonna cut it. Essentially, auto captions are the equivalent of a tourniquet. They're acceptable temporarily, but they are absolutely not a solution. How do content creators benefit from adding captions to their videos? One of the biggest benefits for adding captions to your videos is that you can reach a much larger audience. Like I mentioned earlier, there are a lot of people that need YouTube to be accessible to them, and having good quality captions makes your videos accessible to those people. Captions can also be translated into other languages, so that people who wouldn't normally watch your videos, because they're not in their language, would be able to watch and enjoy your content even though they don't speak the same language as you. Again, reaching a broader audience. And a slightly more technical benefit is that YouTube's algorithm uses metadata from captions in order to make your video more searchable on YouTube. This means that a video about a certain topic that's captioned is more likely to show up on the YouTube homepage or YouTube search results as opposed to a video that doesn't have captions. All right, so how do I add captions to my videos? The method I use to add captions to my videos is to edit the auto-generated captions. Basically all you have to do is upload your video and wait for the captions to be auto-generated. Once they're generated, you can actually click on those auto-generated captions in your video settings and you can hit the edit button. This will take you to a screen where you can go through and read your captions and make sure that everything is spelled correctly and that the timing is correct. It might take a little bit of getting used to the interface, but after you get the hang of it, it's really easy and can go really fast. If you'd like some other methods for adding captions to your videos, I would highly recommend watching this video, which is by my friend Ricky, and she explains three ways to caption your videos. How can I help with the No More Craptions campaign and making YouTube more accessible? Caption your videos. Seriously though, adding captions to your videos is a huge help to this project and basically is the point of this whole thing. You can also tell people how important captions are and encourage them to learn how to caption their videos too. And if you're not a content creator, you can still make a big difference by encouraging the creators that you watch to add captions to their videos. If you would like some more general information about people in the deaf or hard of hearing community, I've linked to some of Ricky's videos in the description below. They're very good and very informative. And if you have any additional questions about captioning or accessibility, please feel free to leave them in the comments below this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please take a moment to consider what you can do to help with the captions and accessibility on YouTube. Because together, we can make sure that there are no more craptions on the internet.
That's all I have to share with you for today. All the links to everything that I've talked about will be in the description below this video. And until next time, I hope that you take care of yourself, and I hope that you caption your videos, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye!